Last year, LEGO fan 2A2A submitted this idea to LEGO Ideas. The fans loved it, and so did LEGO because it was selected to be made into an official set. That set is now coming to a LEGO store near you. Oh my god, Mickey, what the hell did they do to you? And why do you want to eat my soul? In today's video, let's take a closer look at this cursed set. Hello everyone, welcome to Second Brick to the Left. Here we talk about LEGO set news, reviews and tips. Before we dive in, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. This set named The Magic of Disney has an item number of 21352 and has 1,103 pieces. It'll be released on the 1st of October 2024 but is available for pre-order. The set features Sorcerer Apprentice Mickey from Fantasia, who is my favourite Mickey, with his blue wizard's hat and red robe. Normally in these videos I give a bit of information about the set before I start to rip it apart. But damn, that face. Why are the eyes like that? The original idea was so much better. His eyes were so much happier and his little mouth was kind of cute. But the Lego version, he looks cross-eyed and a little bit simple. Okay, back to the details. In addition to the model of Mickey, there are several small builds representing different Disney movies. We have Geppetto on the raft from Pinocchio, Lilo Surfing from Lilo and Stitch, Simba on Pride Rock from The Lion King, Belle with a small scene from Beauty and the Beast, complete with the Enchanted Rose, Bruno with a miniature madrigal house, Flounder and Sebastian from The Little Mermaid, and finally some of the magic broomsticks carrying water from Fantasia. Once built, this will measure 19 centimetres high. That's about 7.5 inches. It'll be 27 centimetres wide. That's about 10.5 inches. And it'll be 17 centimetres deep. That's about 6.5 inches. That is quite a nice size. It's not massive, but it'll easily fit on an IKEA Billy bookcase. There are four minifigures in the set, plus figures of Simba from The Lion King and Sebastian and Flounder from The Little Mermaid. The four minifigures are Belle from Beauty and the Beast, Geppetto from Pinocchio, Lilo from Lilo and Stitch, and Bruno from Encanto. This is the first time we're seeing all of these characters in minifigure form. Belle is absolutely stunning. We've seen her as a mini doll many times before, so it's really nice to see her as a minifigure. The printing on her torso and dress is a really good representation of her outfit. And look, she has evening gloves. She's a great figure. Bruno is a random choice for this set. We've seen a lot of the other Madrigal family members in mini doll form before, but this is the first Encanto character in minifigure form. I really like this minifigure of Bruno. The printing on his poncho is really nice and the hourglass motifs and colours are striking. He's pretty good looking as a minifigure too. He has the prophecy with him of the house. And a rat. Next we have Lilo, which I'm sure will be popular with fans of Lilo and Stitch. Personally, I'm not a fan. Her dress is pretty accurate though, and I do like that they've given her a shorter child skirt. The final minifigure is Geppetto from Pinocchio. I think he looks effective and like the character. He's not the most exciting minifigure, but he's a nice little classic addition. I'm very happy we have the animated version of Sebastian and Flounder. The live action one's a nightmare fuel. Simba is pretty cute. He looks a little like a Duplo lion, but I don't care, he's cute anyway. Are we classing the Brooms as characters? I do like them. The selection of minifigures is different from the original fan idea, with the exception of Belle. Ariel has been dropped entirely. We have Geppetto instead of Pinocchio, Lilo instead of Stitch, and there's no Aladdin or Elsa either. 
Pinocchio, Stitch, Aladdin and Elsa have been featured in collectible minifigure series before, so it's not terrible that we're getting different and new characters. Although I wouldn't mind seeing some of those characters make a return for those of us who hate blind boxes. Overall, I don't think the selection of minifigures is bad. A little random, but they mostly reflect the original designer's choice of films. In addition to the changed characters, some of the miniature builds are also changed, including the complete replacement of Aladdin with Encanto, no more Cinderella's carriage and Frozen is gone too. Since LEGO released a miniature Palace of Agrabah, and we've seen a Cinderella carriage before too, I understand why these were dropped. The 100 has also been replaced. Last year celebrated 100 years of Disney, so we're a little late for that to still be used. Their Disney 100 branding on Lego boxes has also been dropped this year. Let's talk about the price. In the UK, this will cost £89.99. In the US, it'll be $99.99. And in parts of Europe, it'll be €99.99. You know, I'm not going to hate on that price. I think it's a good price for what you get, especially considering it's a Disney set, so you're paying for the name. If we just blur out Mickey's face, it's really not that bad. The selection of minifigures is varied, and they're all new minifigures. The small builds are effective, and it's a good size overall. Saying that, I don't think I'm going to buy this set. But I want Bell and Bruno, so I'll probably try and pick those up on a marketplace somewhere. I've said it before that I want an 18 plus collector's edition of the Encanto house. It just feels like Lego is taunting me at this point. I do like this miniature though. Well those are my thoughts, let me know yours about this Magic of Disney set. That's all for today, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more Lego content. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye!